Hi there. And uh, before we go into our regular vlogs, which we will be doing over the course of the next couple of days and getting to know more about the island, uh, getting to know more about what goes off here, uh, especially those people that love Ibiza and they want to keep up to date with what's happening. So we're going to do all that for you, not a problem, and we'll do it in true Marsden style. But a lot of people have been asking the question, how do we get here? Uh, not just the journey, because obviously that's in the previous vlog, but how do we get here? What did we do? What was the process of moving out here? Well, this vlog will spill the beans. <laughs> Tell you what, the amount of forms I'm having to print out is unbelievable. Oh. But we're getting it done. We're getting it done. It's it's happening. So I'm ready to go. It's um right about ten to seven right now. And uh my buses, bus, trains there. Trains at the platform, ready to go. So just had my interview at the consulate, uh, back at the train station now, ready to get the train home and I should find out in like, what next 10 days or so. Fingers crossed. The plot thickens, or as my granddad used to say, the thick plottens. Um, we've just received an email this morning from the uh, Ministerio in Manchester and they're saying, have we received a self-employment work visa and authorization yet? If not, then they'll find it difficult to try and process the information. So I've sent that through to my lawyers in Spain, just asking what the heck it's all about, because I have got no idea. It's very frustrating, it really is, but we'll get there in the end, I'm sure. So just in general keeping with um, the vlog, we received an email yesterday that uh, you may have seen on the vlog just previously a couple of seconds ago. The fact that um, there's been some misinformation and miscommunication going off. So instead of the usual 10 days that the guy at reception at my appointment said, uh, it's now going to take between three and six months. And still my passport is in limbo. No idea where it is. So, manana, the 21st of October, and I've had to have one of these signed and delivered to the Balearics, at uh, the consulate in the Balearics. So this is the, the final decision makers, basically. And all of this proves that I can run my company over in the Balearics. So fingers crossed, after this goes off today, the final decision will be made. Wow. So, got an email from the consulate in Spain, in the Balearics, to say that my work permit has now been accepted, which is great. So we've got a lot more documents to scan in, passports to scan in, 
and we, we started this whole process back in April, April 27th, I think it was. And today's the 23rd of November. I've got my Christmas jumper on and everything. <clears throat> so it's very, very hmm, nerve wracking. I would probably say uh, the house is on the market ready for uh, selling. We've had a couple of views already. So it's just, so I'm, I'm, I'm literally shaking because it's, it's a big, it's a big, big ask. It's a big task, this. Um, we're still fighting against the clock. So we've got an appointment at the consulate on the 13th of December. And that's for Kirsty with a, a non-lucrative visa application, my living visa application, because I've, of course I've I've already been through the <laughs> already been through the mill with my business documents, etc. So this is the final hurdle, final hurdle before we uh, we make the move. See, I just realised that the entire vlog so far has just been me stressing and scanning everything in sight <laughs> and I'm still at it now um it, the medical insurers have let us down last minute so I've been running around like a blue bottom fly trying to make sure that we've got enough insurance and adequate insurance ready for the consulate which is on Monday which is Wednesday today the 8th of December oh my goodness stress levels I think just about there well, it's the day before the consulate. We've got our consulate appointment tomorrow. All of us are going. And there's more printing of documents happening right now. There's more documents on the top there. It's just... It's a small tropical rainforest of paperwork and documents. Christmas is well out of the way. Our visas have arrived inside our passports. The house went on the market just before Christmas. It sold over the weekend in the new year. Um, just like that, really. So we're off to Mallorca at the end of this month to go and look at some properties to rent. And uh, this thing is getting pretty real right now. <laughs> It's another hair-raising day again today. Uh, main reason being is because um, we've just been told that as soon as we enter uh, Spain this weekend, the TIE card clock starts ticking, which means that we only literally have 30 days to complete the process of the TIE card. Uh, we're originally going for five days to go and look at properties because we need a residence to apply for our TI, TIE card. Um, oh. Why Why did we ever start this? I'm sure we'll get to the end of it, but this is so stressful. Well, we just had a chat with our lawyers in Spain uh, who've just been absolutely amazing throughout this whole process. We feel a lot calmer. In fact, we had a couple of laughs as well on the uh, on the line on our zoom call but it was just it was really good it put our minds at rest about the process what we need to do um if we have to elongate our journey uh, back to Mallorca, we're gonna have to do that uh, but it's all within reason and we're having to do everything within the time constraints that have been set out by uh, the government uh, by the consulate uh, by the authorities so we literally have 30 days as soon as we enter spain we've got 30 days to apply for our tie cards and then after that time um well it's, that's it if we, if we can't apply for our tie cards it's game over so we're going on monday well actually we're going on sunday to go and view some properties on the monday and make a decision on those properties 
on the Monday and get the whole ball rolling. I tell you what, it's just... I've been on roller coasters. I've been to America, I've been to Disneyland, I've been all over and been on roller coasters. There's no roller coaster that beats this one. Honestly, hands down. Sunday morning, 30th of January, and we're about to go to Mallorca. We're gonna to fly to Parma Airport from Manchester. We are going to look at some properties to rent. Uh, because we need to, because we need to sign up for the Padron and also our TIE cards as well. And we've only got 30 days to do this within. So it's all hands on deck. So they're just off dropping teaser at the uh, Dogminders. Uh, so he's got a little bit of a holiday and we've got a tiny little bit of a holiday, but it's a bit of a busman's holiday, really. So we're off there now. Hopefully inside the next 15 minutes, the taxi's going to arrive. So what was a very unfruitful trip to Mallorca? Um, well, I wouldn't say it was unfruitful. I would probably say it brought a lot of things to fruition. Uh, a lot of things, you know, the, the cream floated up to the top of the milk, one would say. And we learned a lot of things and Ben doesn't really like Mallorca. Well, he likes Mallorca to go for a holiday. No problem at all. Nothing against Mallorca. Loves it as a holiday destination, but... Um, now, so we're back to uh, we're back to plan A, which is Ibiza. So we've had a good scour on the internet, and we've uh, seen a lovely place. And our friend Tiffany Bennett uh, has gone to have a look around this morning. Says it's absolutely fantastic. It'd be a great place for us. Brilliant um, location for the house. So we've put an offer in to to rent the house. And we're just waiting back now. So literally the clock is ticking right now to whether the owner of the property likes us. Please like us. So I'm currently in York City Centre at the moment because I'm off to the notary because they need to have power of attorney, which means that they can obtain my NIE and open a bank account for me. Now this is just for me specifically because I'm different because I'm on a, uh, a working visa and uh, Kirsty and the kids are on a non-lucrative visa so I'm just off to the notary now to sign over <laughs> my life so they can work their magic for me on my behalf and hopefully this will speed up uh, things a lot better than if we were actually in Ibiza. There he goes. That's all done. Pretty painless as well, actually. Very, very quick service as well. So if you are going to be handing over power of attorney uh, or going to a notary, etc., then yeah, highly recommend one because the service was around about five minutes and that's it, over and done with, which is great. It's a very windy day. Anyway, so all that's signed for. Apparently it's all going to be on the mainland in Spain inside the next two to three days this what they say around about two days for the uh, documents to be sanitized or something by by uh, some supreme being in london and then shipped over to the mainland inside of the next couple of days so they'll be with uh, the people in charge over there of handling my nie numbers so with that in mind now, and hopefully the NIE being sorted for my business, then hopefully uh, we can get this show on the road and, uh, and visit Ibiza and our abode that we have chosen online, <laughs> thanks to our friends uh, Tiffany and Matt. Um, should be good. I'll tell you what, this is... This is it's been a year in the making, 12 months in the making, this. You'd be slightly forgiven if you think that this is all I wear. <laughs> I do have an extensive collection of jumpers. Uh, just I prefer this one because it's nice. Uh, although it's quite warm outside. Uh, 
It's still a bit chilly in that, that breeze and we've had about three storms over the past seven days. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So we find ourselves going back to Ibiza, which is great. On the 5th of March, we have to fly to Barcelona because there's no direct flights to Ibiza. So we're going to have to go to Barcelona, stop a day in Barcelona, enjoy the beautiful sights and the wonderful city, and then get ourselves to Ibiza on the Monday. On that Monday morning when we arrive, I've got an appointment for my digital certificate to become autonomo in Ibiza. The Tuesday, we are going to the school, the local school, to check it out for Ben. And then on the Wednesday, we're checked into the town hall to, and that's in uh, Santa Lalia, to go to sign on for our padrons for the whole family. And then the padrons will take around about 14 days to arrive, so we won't be there to collect them. So the idea is that we come back to the UK, the house sale goes through, fingers crossed, and then uh, we go back after the kids have had their second jabs, their injections for uh, COVID, and um, and we start our new life on the 20th-ish of April. Now we either fly over or we drive. We don't know quite yet what the position is, uh, whether a teaser is allowed on board the aeroplane. There's certain flights that allow dogs to go on to the, uh, the aeroplane. Or do we just drive? I don't know. I don't know. But it's all very, very exciting and uh, also very nerve wracking at the same time. But you know what? I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's arriving pretty quick. Just about to sign on the dotted line for a rental property in Ibiza that we've never even been to yet. <laughs> Doesn't get more crazy than this, honestly. Anyway, I've just done it. So I've been to the offices behind me and I've now got my digital certificate, which means that I can now be registered for Autonomo in Spain with uh, doing what I do with my, my business. So um, just one little more tick in the tick box. The girls, on the other hand, are at Claire's Accessories just across the road there, getting a hairband. Well, it's been about two months since we were out in Ibiza and then we're going to go back now, <laughs> tomorrow, because I've just printed out a load of material uh, on the printer there. Uh, it's a lovely sunny day, actually, really, really sunny day, but uh, my goodness, we've, I've printed out um, our appointments forms, our EX17, our Modelo 790s, passport copies, uh, colour photos for the IDs, these for the TIE cards that we're going to go for. And we've got to pick up our padrons as well a little bit later on. Honestly, it's just such this, that and the other. Print this out, print that out, go to this appointment, go to that appointment. But uh, it'll all be worth it in the end, guaranteed. And this is the final bit. This is the final bit. So once we've got all of this sorted with our TIE cards, our fingerprints... That's it, we should be fully fledged and um, and have our TIE cards and we should be uh, good to go. 9 a.m. in the morning and it's uh, time to get our papers done, our 790s now for our TIE cards, which are tomorrow. So just been to Banco Sabadello or Banco Sabadell. Still need to get used to it, um, but that's just been up there to get our forms done for tomorrow for the police station for the TIE cards which we've got separate different uh, appointments for about 9.15, 9.30, 9.40 and then mine is around about 11.15 <clears throat> in the morning so hopefully they'll see to me straight away if not then I'll just have to wait for those particular times um, but yeah we're literally just a fraction of a way of getting our TIE cards and then fully fledged members of, uh, of Ibiza well, we've just been to uh, do our TIE cards at the police station behind us there. And that's it, it's the last piece of the jigsaw. The TIE cards are your identity cards, and we can pick them up now uh, in June time. And that's it, all complete. Ooh. Moving out day today. Now we're just moving down the road to uh, a luxury lodge for the, sorry, I've got a, I've grown a beard now, or growing. 
as you can tell it's just grey lots of grey anyway so we have the house contents majority is going to go to uh, recycle and uh, and then we're keeping a, a stack in storage tell you what I'm of most house about 11 times now but it's so hard it's so hard to try and keep it all together it really is um it's very emotional of course we've all been in this house well since ben was born um but it's it's time for a, a new chapter and that's what we're we're doing right now is uh starting a new chapter although we're, we're closing the book very slowly or that page on that chapter by moving down to the road, Holly's going to finish it at GCSEs. Ben's going to finish school as well. Um, just, I'm I'm finding it tough to keep it together. I really am. I'll I'll say that for a start. I'll be honest. But mm, we've we've got all the memories now. We've got all those wonderful memories that we've had in the back garden, and uh, also yeah, I'm going to start welling up in a second. So I better shut up to be honest. <clears throat> See you on the side. Currently in our stop-off luxury lodge at Flagston Meadows, and I'm still dealing with a lot of uh, administration work, uh, sending emails out. This is to take our furniture and everything, all our belongings, to our house in Kelalonga. So we've just got to fill all these correctly and supply NIE numbers and all sorts of stuff, honestly. It's just, just a blur, but we are almost there. Hi guys! It's changed from Super Raton to Super Dragon. But it's the same ride. Nah, it's the same ride. Same ride. Same steep hill. Be good.